Look, I have a very tight schedule today. Since you each wanted to state your case, I thought we'd save time by doing this all at once. Any problems with that? Nope, no problems at all. Absolutely none. What about you, Marianne? Well, I, I guess not. Fine, let's go into my office. Please sit down. I was just noticing your flag. It's big. <laughs> you know, this flag was given to me personally by Alexander Haig. Ah. Are these pictures of your children, Mr. Bryant? My grandchildren. That's my grandson, Dwight David, and little Tricia, and their dog, Millhouse. I have two children of my own, my boy Jason and my little girl, Jennifer. Ah, you must be very proud. How about you, Miss Brown? Uh, I, I don't have any children. But my neighbors do, a boy and a girl, I think. I only saw them from the back. It was Halloween. They were running away. Uh, maybe we'd uh, better get on with business. Yes, Mr. Bryant, I assume you're familiar with our Emmy Award-winning broadcast. Oh, I'm very familiar with it. How long are you going to keep up this quail bashing? When I mean, you fault the man for everything. You know, he's not the only person who can't name all those little square states in the middle of the country. Mr. Bryant, may I say something? First of all, I am a steady customer of yours. My children never leave for school without at least one of your products in their lunchboxes. <laughs> yeah, right. She's been away for a week. They're probably eating the cat food by now. Uh, Miss Brown, let's stick to issues, shall we? Uh, you were saying, uh, Mrs. Miller? I was saying that there are many people who share my outrage over the erosion of moral standards in our country. Well, I happen to be one of those people, Mrs. Miller. Oh, well, I feel more and more that television is not acting in a responsible manner. Well, I agree. There's a definite lack of self-censorship. It's a very disturbing trend. You don't know how relieved I am to hear you say that. Well, if we don't set the example for our children, who will? I think it was Barry Goldwater who okay, once said that... Okay, okay, I can see the handwriting on the wall. Look, it may be pointless, but I'm going to say what I came here to say, and then you two can go off and have a John Wayne film festival. <laughs> Mr. Bryant, if you allow one person, any person, to force you to bow to a boycott, then you're not just hurting me at FYI, you're hurting the very principles of free speech. And another thing... Miss Brown! This... I'm not going to pull my advertising from your show. What? You aren't? No. But I interrupted you. You had more to say? Thank you. No, I'm done. <laughs> but I don't understand. Mrs. Miller, you're a good customer. And I've always made it a policy to listen to my customers. Now, for instance, if you felt I should bake my cookies with uh, white chocolate chips instead of milk chocolate, you could write me and tell me so. And if I got enough of those letters, I'd probably change my recipe. But I would never, ever change my recipe to suit one person or one small group of people. So if you have a problem with Miss Brown's segment, do what I do every week. Turn her off. Or uh, change the channel until that nice Miss Sherwood comes on. Uh, you have that choice. Why? Because this, Mrs. Miller, is America. Mr. Bryan, I want to thank you. Oh, don't thank me. I hope you learned something here, Miss Brown. Not all conservatives agree on all things. Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're tempted to lump us all into one category and uh, take a few easy shots. You liberal firebrands don't hold a patent on standing up for freedom. Mr. Bryan, as far as I'm concerned, you're making a big mistake. And I want you to know that I still intend to go through with my boycott. That's too bad. I was gonna give her some free coupons. 50 cents off on any box of Fudgy Buddies. You know, those things are up to five bucks a box now. They cost me 34 cents. God, I love this country. 